you know you do not belong to every camp you are god's property hallelujah amen as an adult you are god's property you belong to god you do not belong to yourself hallelujah amen you're not saying amen because you, you think you belong to yourself hmm? you don't have you you don't have you you do not have you he has you he is your god he is your lord you need to know that you need to know who you are you need to know him hallelujah john chapter 17 verse 3 jesus christ is praying for his disciples he has done his his mission as a matter of fact let's begin from verse 1 Jesus spoke these words he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said father the hour has come glorify your son that your son also may glorify you as you have given him authority over all flesh that he should give that he should give that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him verse 3 very key and this is life eternal let's read that together Number 1 1 2 3 and this is life eternal let's read again 1 2 3 and this is life eternal what is that that you may know who the only true god there is only one true god the world will present many gods especially to our young people the world will present many gods out there the god of football Uh, the god of of design uh, the god of celebrity <laughs> that the only one true god and jesus christ whom he has sent you belong to god you need to know who you are you need to know who you belong to you need to know who or what your identity is hallelujah My children derive their identity from who? from me. As a matter of fact, they have, they, all of them must must carry my name. Hallelujah. Unless for some like some like some people who who will go and acquire other names but the rest <laughs> the rest of the even when they acquire other names they still, you know, daughter of yeah. Your, ident- your, your identity is derived from your papa hallelujah you are daughter of so and so daughter of mulora <laughs> huh? you belong to who? to god these are some of the i want to give you a few scriptures that you need in these services i need to see you writing whether in the phone or something you need to, you need you need to keep this you need there are some scriptures that you need to keep you have a phone you, you begin to write or pull out your phone you don't have a, a notebook you know You have a notebook pull it out. You have a phone pull it out. And I want to see people writing these scriptures because you're going to need them. Hello divine, you have a phone? Yes. Pull it out. I need to see you writing notes. Somebody say amen. Because you need these scriptures. Scripture number one I will give you. Psalm 24 verse 1. You need to know these these are scriptures that you need. Some some of these scriptures you're going to learn. At least you may not learn them word to word, but you may know you know what they say hallelujah psalm 24 verse 1 psalm 24 verse 1 what does it say anybody got in there is that the, oh you are there psalm 24 verse 1 the earth is whose the earth the earth is whose and that lord is in cap, is capitalized whenever you see that word capitalized it means god it means yahweh hallelujah the earth is whose the lord's and the what and the fullness thereof that means everything everything if it is a thing it belongs to him aha uh-huh. the world and those who dwell therein how many of us dwell on the world right now we are in the world you are you are on the, then you belong to him Hallelujah. You are his. Psalm 100 100 verse 3. Are you writing? Psalm 100 verse 3. Elisha, I don't see writing. I'm I'm see I'm watching. I'm watching. You know I'm at a vantage point here. I can see everybody. 
We need to be students of the word. Hallelujah. Psalm 100 and verse 3. It says, no. No. You need to know. Hallelujah. Because there are things out there that will try to, 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 to deceive us. But you need to know. Wherever you are, you need to know. At school, you need to know. At place of work, you need to know. On the bus, you need to know. On the trains, you need to know. Know that the Lord capitalized. Lord means owner. The Lord, he is what? He is God. It is he who did what? Made you and me. And we are his. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's cool I am his I belong to God the only true God I am his property my goodness we are now we are his people the sheep of his pasture wow you need to know it it has to be in your knower it has to be settled so that no school of thought or philosophy or ideology will sway you. Know it. That he is the Lord. He is God. He is the one who made you. You are his. <laughs> the next one. Isaiah 43 verse 1. Isaiah 43 verse 1. It's a cool one. It's very cool. Isaiah 43 verse 1. He says, but now, says who? The Lord, capitalized Lord again. He who did what? Created you. Psalm 139 says, 39 says I, you were fearfully and wonderfully made. That nose that you look at in the mirror on every day and say, I hate this nose. Oh, that nose was fearfully and wonderfully made. You need to start liking it like you. We need to love you. He created you. My God. Oh, put your name. Oh, Ruben. That's your name there. He formed you. My God. You were formed. You were not deformed. You were formed fearfully and wonderfully. They said, fear not. Why? For I have redeemed you. I have redeemed you. You do not redeem something that is useless. Redeeming means buying out of something. When he created us in the Garden of Eden, the devil came and stole us out of his presence. But God says, I have bought you back. I have redeemed you because you matter to me. You are important to me. People may tell you you don't matter, but tell them, I belong to God and he has redeemed me. I have called you, my God. Called, called, called you by name. He knows my name. He knows your name. Hmm? The finances may be trying to dodge you, but he knows your name. Hallelujah. And he says, I, you are what? You are... God himself says you are his. You are his. You belong to him child of God. You belong to God. Hallelujah. John 1 chapter 12 verse 13. This is very cool. This is even cooler. This is even cooler. My God. But to how many? To how many? All. Who did, did what? Receive him. Now, this is a caveat. There are many, not everybody has received him. How many of us have received Jesus Christ in this place and you are not ashamed of saying it? I have received him. Hmm? But to all who did receive him, number one, who believed in his name, number two, he did what? He gave them the right. You have the right. You are, it is your birthright to become a child of God. He gave you the right. Hallelujah. Biologically, if I don't give you the right, to become my child, you cannot. You can become my child spiritually, like you are all my children right now, but biologically. This God, he gave us the right to become his children. My God, awesome. So whoever plays around with you, say, I am a child of God. I have the right, I have the birthright to be a child of God. 
Acts 17, 28. These are scriptures I'm throwing at you. Whenever you're praying and the devil is just playing around, pull them out and begin to tell him who, who's, who's you are. Who's you are. Are, are you together with me? 1728. For in who? In him. We do what? We live and move and have our being. In him. Ah, this one. I love, I love the word. This, this is the best poetry I've ever heard. In him we live and move and have our being. Mm. As even some of our own poets have said. For we are indeed his think about that. You are an offspring. These kids thought they are my offsprings. They are, they are offsprings of God. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Isn't that cool? To know that you belong to God. You are his offspring. Another verse. Are you tired? Mm -hmm. Romans 8, 14 to 17. Romans 8, 14 to 17. You belong to God, my friend. You belong to the creator. For all who are done what? Led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. Sons of God. Now you say we are, but we are, we are daughters. You know, in the Spirit, there's no male or female. We are all, you are a spirit living in a body. A spirit with a soul living in a body. You are pneumopsychomatic, psychosomatic. That's what? Even saying it, I've almost bit my tongue. That's how heavy it is. You are a spirit. That's why we say we are offsprings of God. Because he is what? He is spirit. He is spirit. You are powerful. You are bigger than the situations around you. You are spirit. You are an awesome person. Uh -huh. What does he say? Continue. For he did not, for you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear. That's why you should not fear. Fear should not be your portion because you know you have got a, a the Lord of hosts on your side. As a matter of fact, you are his child. You are his child. Fear. But you have received the spirit of adoption as sons by whom we cry, Abba, Father, Abba, Tata, Abba, Papa. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's continue that verse. The spirit himself bear with, bears witness with our, this, our spirit. The spirit, big spirit, capital spirit. Did you see that? Whenever you read the Bible, look at, look at the letters, the way they are written. Capital spirit, the spirit meaning who? The Holy Spirit meaning God. God is the Father, Son, and what? Holy Spirit. He bears, he has, I don't know whether, he has, to, you, it, you have to come to a point where you have that witness in you. Where you don't have a doubt whose you are. You know at times they, 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 they have you ever heard about, heard about such such stories? They look at, at, at this child and they say, and, and, and he belongs to this man. But, but, this, but this kid does not resemble those people. Mm, he, but he resembles the neighbor. Mm, I don't think, I, I don't think he's, 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 he's his son. I don't think, I don't think he's, he's has, you know, something, you, you have heard of those stories. So that there's a doubt whether you belong to this family or the other. But in this one, the one I'm talking about, you, in you, there has to be a witness that you are the child of God. You have, you need to know it. You need to feel it right now. Right now. Never be deceived. You are his. Let nobody say otherwise. You are his. <laughs> the spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are what? Children of of God. I am a child of God. I don't care what you say. I don't care who says otherwise. I know it. The spirit. God bears witness with my little spirit that I am his. Hallelujah. Hmm? Let's continue. And if children <laughs> then heirs heirs of God. Do you know what an heir is? He inherits. He inherits what the Father has. All that the Father has belongs to you. 
You know how rich you are. <laughs> now riches, the way we translate riches in the world is not the way is. There is somebody who is loaded. He has got lots of money. He cannot even, cannot even count them. But let me tell you, he does not have the peace that I have. I've been married 25 years. Some of them cannot even hold a marriage. Yet they are powerful, rich. We are heirs of God. God first and foremost, not heirs, not only heirs of his, of his property, but heirs of him. You're an heir of God. <laughs> Think about that. And fellow heirs with who? Christ. So, Christ is your Lord, and at the same time, he's your brother. Ponder that. I'll give you another verse. 1 Corinthians 6 19. You need to know whose you are. You need to know whose you are. Oh! Do you not know? Toruk Chimanya. Tochimanyi. Mujui. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit within you? The Holy Spirit, the temple of God. Holy Spirit, capitalized. That's God. Whom you have from God. You are not your own. You are not your own. You are not your own. <laughs> Why? Why am I not my own? The next verse, my daughter. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, ah, for you were bought with a price. Ah, you were bought. Remember in Isaiah 43, he said, I have redeemed you. Exagorazo in Greek. There's agorazo, agorazo. It talks, it talks about slavery. Slavery is, you know, slavery. When you talk about agorazo, this is slave trade. Somebody buys a slave wanting to go and resell him to get more, more, more profit out of him. But somebody comes out of there. A rich man comes and says, he comes with agorazo. He says, name the price. And as they name the price, he says, I am buying him. He buys him not to resell him, but to set him free. I am, oh, I am free. I am free. You are free. You have been exagorazzled by God. You have been bought by a, for, by a price. So what? Glorify God in that body. Glorify God in that body. In that body. That body is meant to glorify the one who bought you. Hallelujah. You have been purchased. Mm. Thank God you did not leave me in, in, in alcoholism. Thank God you did not leave me in, oh, in drug addiction. You came and bought me. You came and paid the price with your life. My God, Galatians 3.26 For in Christ Jesus you are all sons of God through faith. Hallelujah. Galatians 4, 4, 7. But when the, we have touched, we have touched this. But when the fullness of time had come, if, with, uh, if you remember, I don't know some of you remember this someone, you know? Remember that? The fullness of time. You need to go. I don't know, it's already uploaded. The fullness of time had come. God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law. So to redeem. That word again, redeem, comes. Redeem, redeem, redeem. You are redeemed. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. You are redeemed. You are redeemed. Yes, there are things around you, but you need to know that you are redeemed. How we conquer? We only conquer because we know we are redeemed. Because we know whose we are. People who fail, people who sink, are those who do not know. Because you know what? He did not promise a trouble-free life. No. He said in the world you will have tribulation. But be of good cheer. Because I have overcome the world. 
So yes, I may be surrounded, but I know that I am not actually surrounded by the issues. I am in him because he has purchased me, because he is with me, because he promised that in the fires, he will be there. In the waters, he will be there. In the rivers, he will be there. He is with me. Yes, the things may not, be, may not make sense, but he is there because he redeemed me. And because he is with me, the season shall pass. This too shall pass. That too shall pass. But what shall not pass is the God whose you are. <laughs> and he's in you. Guess what? There's a time when you'll be looking at it in the rear mirror. Say, my God. My God. My God. It shall pass. It shall pass. It shall pass. Shall pass. First John 3, 1 to 2. First John 3, 1 to 2. About to, to close so we can get into the next service. Mandi Bosha Tabaka. See what kind of love the Father has given to us. That we should be called children. See what that love. Even when you, you know some of some, some of us have never some of us were, were really bad boys, you know. But that love, I mean, what kind of love? calls me a child of God and so we are the reason why the world does not know us is because it did know him it did not know him hallelujah and listen to this it even goes further what you are is just a microcosm of who you really are because that's what he says and so the next verse next verse <laughs> beloved we are God's children when? Now. When? Not in the future. Now. Hallelujah. You need to live in the now. You need to live in the now. You need to, you need, you need, you need to have mindfulness now. 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 The reason we fear is because we, live, we, we tend to, to too much live in the future. Jesus Christ said, you know, he said, do not worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will do what? Let tomorrow worry about itself. The reason some of us are in depression is because you are overthinking tomorrow. That is not your job. Oh, what will happen? Oh, you are wasting useful energy instead of investing it in the now. Enjoy the now when you still have it. Tomorrow, you do. none of us has tomorrow. This is a news flash. You do not have tomorrow. Does that mean you don't plan? You plan, but do not overthink tomorrow. I do not waste my time too much on tomorrow. I don't. I want to enjoy. God wants you and I to enjoy the now. You are what? God's children now. Plan, but don't overthink it. Where, where am I going to get this? Where am I? You are building a house? Yeah. Now you're overthinking, oh my God, where am I going to get this money? You are... And God is saying, look at this guy. Let tomorrow worry about yourself. This is not me teaching this. It's Jesus Christ doing so, by the way. Because he says, even the other people out there think like that. You need, there has to be a clear-cut demarcation between a child of God and a person of God. People of God worry, but children of God worry. Do you think that young man there is worried about rent? You think he's even worried where the food is going to be? <laughs> that is none of his business. Because he knows that he's there. He wants money, he'll just text. I need some money. Yesterday they, they, they needed some. I was in a lecture somewhere. We need, we need this. And I check, I'm in a lecture, but I had, but I, I had to. <laughs> Your father, the Bible says, Jesus Christ, your father already knows. He is not obliged. Ah, you can even go home. Your father already knows what you need even before you ask. He knows your name. All the hairs on your head, he knows them. And everyone is everyone of by number. There's number one here, number one. Here, I don't know how many hairs on yours. Here, number a million. He knows them. He knows them. So why are you why are you over, over taxing yourself into depression? 
to the point where you are clinically depressed. My goodness. That's what he says. He loved it. We are God's children when? Now. But even right now, this glory that you see, that is just the tip of the iceberg. He says, but it, and what you, we will be has not yet appeared. <laughs> so what? Tell your neighbor, look at me. Just, just look at me quite well. I am about to metamorphose before your very eyes. <laughs> so who, whoever is laughing at you, whoever is talking about you, they are wasting their time because it has not yet appeared who you will be. Hasn't. Hasn't. <laughs> it hasn't. So talk about Shiloh the more, the, 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 however much you like. Talk about the Shiloh members however much you like. Let them talk about you however much they like. Let, mm, <laughs> it has not yet appeared. What you are seeing is just the shell. There's a shell. <laughs> He's about to reveal who you really are. Who you really are. Tell the issues. That's you are just joking. You don't know. You have no idea whose I am and who I am. Mm. We we'll leave that there. You'll go and study that. First John 4.4. 4. First John 4.4. 4. Little children. First, 4, 4. First John 4.4. 4. Little children. He calls us little. Little. However, however, however much you grow. Look, I'm now 50 something. But my mother still calls me little. My, my father still calls me little, my little boy. Oh, I don't know. I don't know that my little boy is eight tonight, you know. My little boy. Little boy. Yeah. You are little in his eyes. You are from where? You guys, do you know where you come from? And have overcome them. For he is he. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Where is he? Where is he? He's in here. finish knowing your identity knowing whose you belong to shapes your self esteem number one it shapes your self esteem so you go wherever you go you go with a high self esteem because you know who you belong to you think prince charles or you know prince is all these princes you think they just go around like any, like any other person hiding no 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 they go with self esteem because they know they are royal they know who's they who they are their self esteem is up there so can i speak to somebody whose self esteem has been busted and dented i command it to rise in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god because you belong to god hallelujah knowing who you are you are knowing your identity dictates how you conduct yourself how you walk how you speak how you dress yeah how you dress how how you conduct yourself at your place of work young people how do you conduct yourself at school you cannot conduct yourself at school like the others who do not know god you are and who do not belong oh you have there's got to be a clear cut demarcation. Hmm? Knowing who you are assures you that you are somebody. You walk with assurance that you matter. You matter, my friend, you matter. That's why God sent his only begotten son because you matter. Even if it was only you on the universe, you'd still have sent his only begotten son. Why? Because you matter. You are somebody. You are somebody. You have got weight in you. You have got a, a board. You have got there's some glory in you. Act with glory. Do not throw yourself at anything. Any boy who says, I love you, you look beautiful, you just throw. You can't carry yourself with the cupboard that is commensurate with, with, with your God. Hallelujah. Knowing who you are guarantees you protection. You know that I am protected. I am protected. He has a hedge of fire around me. Hallelujah. You are, can I pronounce to you that you are protected? The, there is, you know, the things of the world should teach us the things of what? Hey, wherever president, uh, the president or these guys go, they have got people, they call the secret service. You don't even see them. These ones, you see them, but the secret service around you, you cannot even see them. 
are, you are surrounded, my friend. You are, that's when even, even when the devil tries to take you out, they, they, they arise. They are there. They are there to take him out. Hallelujah. You are surrounded. You are surrounded. You are protected. Your children are protected. Our kids are protected. Our children are protected. Our children are protected. Our children are protected because they belong to him. Knowing who you are guarantees your provision. Your provision, like Alia said, Elisha is not worried about rent. He's not worried about food because he's, he's, he's guaranteed. His provision is guaranteed. He knows this is to happen. He just walks down confident and opens the fridge. Expects to find stuff in there. It's not there. He's like, what's going on, man? What's going on? There's no this, there's no that. And the provider has got to go and look for it. <laughs> Next. As we finish. Knowing who you know you are or whose you are guarantees you privileges. You are privileged. <laughs> There are things that not every other person enjoys. You are privileged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not knowing whose you are guarantees you the status. You are always a son of God. No matter what happens, you need to know this. You are always a child of God. How do I know this? I know this from the proverb, from the parable of the prodigal son. The prodigal son runs from home. The prodigal son takes everything. The prodigal son wants, wants independence. He goes and messes up. <laughs> the Bible says, when he came back to himself, you know that most of us have gone away from ourselves. In order to go back to God, first and foremost, you need to come back to yourself. Are you with yourself? That's the question. Are you with yourself? Or are you by yourself? If you are by yourself this morning, I've come to call you back to yourself. And after you come back to yourself, what did he say? He says, I will go back to my father. But this time not as a son. I will go back as a servant. Because he thought that he did not deserve to become a son again. Maybe you have messed up. Maybe you have walked away from God. I come to tell you this morning that you still belong to him. He's still your father. The Bible says that he began to walk and go and, and walk home. And, but every other morning, the father would, would, would stand at, on the horizon waiting for his son. The father's hands are always wide open. They are always what? Wide open because he's full of mercy and forgiveness. So when he ran to him, when he, when he approached him, the Bible says that the father began to run towards the son. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We sing this song, Your goodness is running after me. You're going to sing it here shortly. Man, the Boshataba. He ran to him. And the boy began to say, Father, Father, I have sinned. I have sinned against you. I have sinned. The, the father did not even want to hear that. He just told his servant, Slap a, 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 a garment upon him. Slap a ring upon him. He said, My son, my son, who had been lost, has returned. My son. You are his. You are his. Let me have the young people who are going to sing in worship as we all stand on our feet.